गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ गारमेंट अंडरटेकिंग दैट इज स्टेचुरी कॉरपोरेशन वट दे आर स्टेचुरी कॉरपोरेशन आर पब्लिक एंटरप्राइज ब्रॉट इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस बाई स्पेशल एक्ट ऑफ अ पार्लियामेंट ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट मीन्स दीज आर द कॉरपोरेशन विच आर स्टार्टेड बाई पासिंग एन स्पेशल एक्ट इन द पार्लियामेंट और स्टेट लेजिस्लेशन द एक्ट डिफाइंस इट्स पार्स एंड फंक्शंस rules and regulations governing its employees and its relationship with government department the act contain all the limitations rules regulation functioning etc in itself few examples are airport authority of india national highways authority of india central warehousing corporation lic rbi icai etc these are the all the institution which have established by passing an act what are the features of such type of organization one generally financed by the central or state government these organization or corporations are financed by the uh, central government or state government whatever the setup is second may borrow fund from the public and the government organization since being an uh, autonomous body they are free to uh, opt finance from public also three they have separate legal entity like a company enjoy this feature also this corporation also enjoy it has a separate legal entity four they have no frame their own policies they have to form their own policies and procedures within the scope scope of state legislature such type of organization are given the autonomy to frame their policies within the uh, given framework providing better services to public and make adequate profits point 5 they are established to provide better services with a motive to earn sufficient profit 6 they can recruit and appoint their employee with the, their service conditions since they are corporate bodies this type of government organization recruit their own employees by their own not like departmental undertaking the, where the government em- appoints the employees but these type of organization being body corporate have to recruit their employee on their own terms and condition there is less government interfer- uh, interference in matters of the corporation uh, routine decisions and day by day management decisions are taken by the authority of the organization not by the government government has minimum interfere in this what are the merits one autonomy independent or freedom from external control of our operation autonomy it uh, is free to take their decisions second absence of political interference since in uh, our country there is a politics is everywhere means uh, whatever the government is in power the policies of that party or ideology have the impact on departments of the government but being the autonomous body they are free from such things third quick and prompt decisions since there is authority to take decisions their decisions are easy and prompt ease of raising capital such organizations are free to offer their share in the market as we can buy the shares for for example of ongc oil and natural gas corporation etc what are the d merits first one is no flexibility in operation operation flexibility is not uh, enjoyed then misuse of power whenever the absolute authority makes absolute corrupt peoples so same issue is there and then lack of efficiency as far as compared to the private or multinational corporation they are less efficient this type of organization political and inter- political interference could be there although they are having autonomy but still the decisions have a certain degree of impact on this sometimes okay this was in next video we will discuss the next topic